This conference will now be recorded. So if you want to take a new document, you can click here. So you are having option called new document. Click on that. So, so we are doing infographics today. So that uh, how much ever the size you want, you can mention that much size. It should be in inches or anything. You can put it there or else you can put the size also here. By defaultly, it will take inches also. So how much you want, you can put that much for infographics and all. So infographics poster we are doing. So we, today I'm gonna take portrait for infographics. And the color mode is CMYK only. So CMYK should be the color mode here. And the rendering resolution should be DPI should be 300. Master should. I'll give OK. So I'll get the page like this. So now I can do the infographics also. So first of all, before that, uh, what we'll take, so we'll just put the background to it. So I hope in last class we did about, uh, we, we done with the opening brochure, opening uh, company opening brochure. So I got everyone got that. I hope everyone got that and uh, I hope everyone practice that also. So we'll be giving the background to this page. So uh, I'm taking a rectangle tool here to put the background, put the background to page. So I'm dragging I'm from the back, from the corner. I'm dragging here like this. So after that, I can put any color and for anything for everything you just you just need only two to three colors that's all that's enough for the you must use only two to three colors more than that you can't use anything you should not you are not supposed to and uh, text also more than two to three don't use So I'm just giving green color now. So I'm just giving green color like this and I'm removing, removing I'm removing the stroke for this. And after that, I'm taking a rectangle tool again, like this. So I'm placing it here. I'm placing it and properly I should, I'm placing it like this. So in that, in that, um, taking 
gradient here so not the drop shadow I'm taking gradient here like this so to that gradient I can add any pattern fields also so I'm taking patterns here I'm just taking any pattern I want So I'm just giving pattern like this. Or else I can give like this. So we'll be having like this pattern, so many patterns. We can just put that or else we can browse. If we browse if we are having any patterns we can put that also textures or our patterns like that So now you can transform with the objects and after that and a bitmap pattern fill and here you will be having two color pattern fill like this you will be having so many patterns pattern fillings. And you can give normal patterns also or else you can give like this also vector patterns also so here you'll be having so many options like uh, edit fill so whichever the pattern you have taken so you can edit that also here you will be having more options here so we can edit that transform with the object if you are a given means it will affect there whatever you edit here it will affect there whichever the pattern is so you can edit that easily and you can give the color also here like this so I'm giving like a green dark green and for this I'm giving black or a light green like this so I'm giving like this I'll just give OK so now it will feel like this so you can edit this also by going here edit fill so you can give any colors any I mean like you can any you can set any options there you can feel easily so after giving that I'll uh, I'm removing the stroke for it so I'm just removing the stroke for it let me just zoom and see it should fill it should fill to the corner like this it should be filled and to this corner put properly to the corner take this out properly like this and put it So now you can fill like this. So after filling it like this,
and after that I'll just reduce the page size and uh, I'll just duplicate this control D to duplicate this duplicate it and reduce size of it so increase a little like this increase and put it here and after that what I'll do is I'll just keep the text here so let me take the text tool here first so I'm taking text tool here before that I'll just lock the background so so on that day only we told about uh, background locking so so you must lock the background because when you are doing it will move with that so if you if you don't want to move with that so just lock it right click right click on this background first select this background and right click it next you will be getting so many options here in that lock object so it locked now it is locked so now you can give particular text take the text tool and uh, write here so I'm writing here as so it should be in the caps how to wear a non medical fabric mask safely so I can just put this here and after that I'll uh, select this and remember which font you are giving that should be continued till the end of this poster infographics still the end of this graphics and uh, make sure you continue with the same font only and I'm increasing the size a little and after that I'll give bold and I'll give some font style different font style So this is the font I'm giving Century 751 SCBD PT. I'm giving this font and I'm giving the size as 48 and I did bold also and now I'm giving some color to it. So I'll give white color on it and the stroke also white. I'm taking a big tool here pick tool and I'm placing on this so I'm I'm placing on top of it let me just uh, 
so after that I'm placing with the help of arrows so if you can't place with the mouse properly so you can use your uh, keyboard arrows also so you can use keyboard arrows and you can put that properly And after that, what I'll do is let me just put down this. And after that, what I'll do is I'm taking text tool again, and here I'll write do's. So that should be in the capital do's so same thing I'm doing here bold and I'll give that this and uh, I'll increase the size little and that should be this should be in the white color white color and white outline white stroke it should be in the white stroke and white color just take the pick tool decrease the size little take the pick tool and put it here properly arrange it like this properly you can arrange it like this and here in the effects you'll be having some artistic medias also here in artistic media you'll be having so many options like this so if it is related to your particular poster or brochure see you can just take this you can just do like this it come like this whatever you do it will come so this is artistic media if it is needed to your And here so many options are there you can just default strokes so you can just select that so here give the font color though no, give the font style and font color stroke color and after the take pick tool increase little increase little and place it here and after that see you will be having so many other patterns also here you can check with that So you can check with that pattern. So many patterns are there. And if it is related to your particular posters or something, you can apply it. You can give borders and like that. So you can give just, you can just give like that. If you are using some, see, it will be like this so if it is needed to your poster you can give that so it will be in effects in effect menu artistic media if you disable that it will go so like that you will be having so many other 
blend contour envelope extrude bevel like that so in this if you left click on this drop shadow you will be having so many other options also here so you can just do that contour so contour means if you are having any shapes like this so if you give the contour to it so you can give contour like this so how much ever you increase that much ever it will come like this and if it is related to your particular particular poster or uh, something like that you can give this you can just increase it and you can give that it looks like this and after this you can uh, put some relatable uh, pictures also you can just uh, power clip inside it so i told you already about this power clipping So after that, and here you can put some circles also, or else you can put this polygon also. Whichever you want, you can put that particular shapes. So I'm taking here circles. So I'm reducing the size of this. So I'm reducing the size of this circle, particular circle. I'm 
and take I'm taking this circle um, and putting it here so after that I'm going to take a relatable picture to it So I'm taking picture here, relatable picture. Just taking the picture. So I'm taking cartoonish pictures. That's what the infographics represents. And you, you can take normal pictures also. But uh, infographics, most of the infographics will be in cartoonish pictures only. So I'm taking cartoon, cartoonish pictures only, whichever I want. I'm saving this. I'll save this image and I'll just drop it here. And after that, object, go to object. We have an option called power clip. Place inside frame, you'll get this arrow. And put inside this. And after that, take this edit power clip. Take this edit power clip and decrease choose the size of this put it here you can arrange it like this I'll just give OK now it will be like this. Now after click out and I'll just remove the stroke. I'll give OK. I'm just removing the stroke. Removing the stroke for it. Click out. It has removed. Now you can see here it has removed. Now I'll give the text to it. So I'm taking a text to tool and I'm texting here. I'm texting as uh, clean your hands. Hands before touching a mask. And the same thing I'm doing for this text also. I'm changing the font style. For this, I'm giving Century 751 font to this to this uh, text which I have taken. 
I'm giving this font style and after that I'll give the color as dark green stroke also so I'm giving the color as dark green and uh, this dark green and the stroke also this and I'm taking a pick tool and I will just I'm just decreasing the size of this I'm just decreasing the size of this and I'm putting it down to it perfectly I'm putting it down to it like this and after that same thing I'm taking circle only circle or else I'll just duplicate it let me the duplicate it so that I can get the same circle duplicate I'm placing it here I'm removing the picture of this delete so now it's not coming fine I'll take the circle And uh, let's decrease the size of this. And after that, let me just duplicate and then let me place it here. And after that, what I should do is. decrease the size like this and after that delete this duplicate this control D to duplicate and place it over here and after that uh, take some picture again So I'm taking picture as mask So I'm just checking here. So I should take the picture like this. So I want the cartoonish picture only because I took the cartoonish picture before. So now I'm taking this.
so you can select so I'll be selecting this only I'm saving this and uh, I'm just taking this and dropping it here after that I'll go to object power clip before that let me place it here object power clip place inside frame I'll put that into this particular circle after that I'll take this edit and I'll just edit this go to corner and you can just reduce the size of this and you can put it properly like this and after that stop editing you can give stop editing and remove the stroke it will be like this now what you need to do is So you are giving the text to it. So take the text tool and give the text as inspect the mask. Check the mask for damage or damage or if dirty I'll be writing like this dirty and after that I'm putting the font style as same and I'm giving the color as green like this and I'm taking pick tool I'm decreasing the size of this so it should increase little so let me increase little And after that, put it here properly. You can put it here like this. So that's how you should do at least for uh, at least for five image. I mean, like you should give at least five images here. So I'm taking this circle. I'm keeping it here. I'll just duplicate. I'll keep this here. Duplicate. Arrange it properly. Duplicate it and arrange it properly like this so after that take the picture related to it so I'm taking picture now so I'm taking a picture as now so I'm taking the picture like
mask into face. So I'm taking this. So I'm taking this image. So it has the watermark. Let me stone out this. Save image.
so now so you can just take that which I have downloaded go to object power clip and power place it inside so you can place it inside this and give there as edit in that you can edit somewhat like this and give this stop editing and remove the stroke also so it will be like this and after that take the text tool take the text and do it like this cover your mouth nose and chin so select this and give the font and after that give the color as stroke also dark green and fill color also green and after that take the pick tool decrease the size little and after that take this and place it here place it here like this properly and after that take again the picture take the picture again So take the picture like this take the pictures So you'll be getting so many pictures. Choose the perfect picture and put to add. Take this. I'm taking this picture and after.
to that so you can place it here and after that place it there and go to object do the same thing power clip place inside this circle and in the take edit decrease the size of it decrease the size of it and you can put this like the arrange it properly like this and keep give it like this and remove the stroke and after that after that you can text it you can give the text like so i'll give the text as clean your hands clean your hands before before clean your hands before touching the mask for removing the mask removing the mask and clean your hands before and after both we can put before and after we can give it like this clean your hands before and after removing mask so let me give the font font style and color and let me take the pick tool taking this placing it here placing it here like this and after that so after that so let me take the new picture again so so mask
so I'm saving this image I'll save this so I'm taking this and I'm dropping it here go to object power clip place inside into this circle take this editing take this picture and increase the size of it put it properly now do stop editing and then remove the stroke and after that take the text tool and you can write as do not use Use the mask which already used. Put that to bin. So you can change the font. So select the sentence properly till end. And then Give the color, show color as green to this. Give the stroke color and fill color as green and decrease a little. Take this and place it here. Place it properly like this. So now you can see what and all you can do with the mask. And here we can uh, we'll, uh, we can write do not so here we'll fill that do not so again I'm just duplicating this box control D here I'll take that And I'll fill this to red so it's filling fully. So, control Z, let me do control Z. Let me delete this. I'll take again 
one square and for that I'm taking gradient in that I'll take this that I'll take this and I'll go to this edit fill in that I'll give the color as red and here and here also I can give the color as dark red like this and after that I'll give ok to it and it should doesn't have any stroke I'll take this I'll just decrease the size of this decrease the size decrease the size like this and now placing it here So I'm taking the text here, do not take the caps, do not and take this and put the font as like this and put it in white. Take the pick tool, increase the size of this. Put it here. Increase the size of it. and decrease the size a little And uh, arrange it, align it properly with the help of arrows also if you want. And align it with the help of arrows. So now you can see. Like this, it will be like this. So now we can do do nots also here. So we did do's here. Infographics. So we can do do nots also here.
And guys, can you tell me who is this uh, CRTC sixteen? There's a. It's not showing its name. So now, guys, uh, hope you all understood this infographics. So we'll do it. Uh, I mean, like we'll continue this for in next class. So we did do for infographics. We'll do it. We'll continue this in next class. So can you tell me who is that? Okay. Have you understood this, guys? Infographics. Yes, ma'am. Guys, yes, you got this. Hello, guys. Did you got this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This conference will now be recorded.